Exodus, God was extremely mad because the Israelites were worshiping a golden cow. And that is exactly what church followers are doing today because there is no man on the sky. Now, God himself says he is your consciousness. But for some apparent reason, churches are blindfolding their followers and telling them that God is a man on the sky and Jesus is God, or Jesus is the son of God and a bunch of bull crap they're teaching these people. Now, Moses asked God, God, what is your name? God said, I am that I am. And when you go back and talk to the Israelites, tell them that I am has sent you. He didn't say God sent you, he said I am. I am is your conscious. So now I say I am one, that's what I am. I am that I am because God speaks through you. God is not outside of you. And so when you teach crap to people, you blindfold them to the true spiritual potential. Now, what else is the church is doing? Well, in 1945 and 1970, a lot of scriptures were found. The Lost Gospel of Thomas is one of them. The Gospel of Mary, that's another one. But for some apparent reason, the churches are denying these books because it goes against every BS they're teaching people. Why? Because they want to control people. They don't want to teach people. They've been telling them for thousands of years that Christ is coming back to save them. When Christ is actually inside of you, and the Bible says Christ is inside of you. So when you learn the Bible through the churches, you know nothing about the Bible. Now I'm going to teach you how to pray in this video. You see, this is how they teach people how to pray. They tell them to get on their knees like they're peasants. They tell them to put their hands together, look up to the sky and ask God for something, but it doesn't work like that. The Bible says different. The Bible says something else, and I'm gonna read scripture to you. And Mark 11, 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. It doesn't say ask, it says believe that you already have received it and the believe is the prayer. Let me make this video a little bit more interesting for you, for my church followers. Let me bring science into it. 95% of your life is being run by your unconscious mind or your subconscious mind. How does your subconscious mind work? It creates your reality through your belief system. Exactly what the Bible says, that if you want something, you have to believe that you already have it. So asking for something to an imaginary man that does not exist in the sky because the Bible, first of all, the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is within you, it's not in the sky. So I don't know what, what kind of nonsense these people are preaching. It's not by asking Jesus, it's not by asking Mary, it's not making any sense. You guys have to pay attention to what's going on in the real world and get your head out of that church because they're lying to you, they're misleading you. So uh, all this Trinity crap, this uh, Holy Spirit, the God here and Jesus here, no, 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 they're all one. There is no separation between neither one of them because the Bible says Jesus Christ is inside of you. The Bible says the kingdom of God is inside of you. The Holy Spirit is inside of you. And you're still looking around, I don't know what for, because it doesn't exist. Now listen to what William Blake had to say. People who use their brain. Why do we stand here trembling around, calling God for help and not ourselves and who he dwells. Now, the most ironic part about this is that Jesus himself said that you need to believe to manifest whatever it is that you want, that he can do it on his own. He can heal you on his own. Jesus himself said in the Bible, and I quote, when he had gone indoors, the blind man came to him and he asked him, do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, according to your faith, let it be done unto you. A logical man will read that, and the previous Bible verse that I gave you from the book of Mark, and you understand that is your belief that creates your reality. Even science says it, that through your belief, your subconscious mind creates 95% of your reality. We'll give you this last piece of information. You have to believe that it's already yours. Now on top of that, you have to be grateful for it at this very moment. You see, because if you wait until it arrives for you to be grateful, then the process, that gap in between, you being ungrateful pushes it away because a father does not give anything to the ungrateful child. If I buy you a PlayStation 4 and you don't like it, why would I buy you a PlayStation 5? That is just common sense. So you have to be grateful at this very moment if you want the father to give you what you're asking for. And remember, the kingdom of heaven is within you, it's not outside of you, so stop preaching that crap. Secondly, if you want to know how to interpret the Bible correctly, just follow me, and it's that simple. See you next time.